Testing, testing, one, two. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Steelman Outdoors, and this is the Helicon Tex Woodsman. Roll the VTs! So I've been wearing this jacket for about six months now, and a few of you have been asking on the channel, what are my thoughts about it? Do I love it, or do I hate it? And should you buy one? Let's find out. So I purchased the jacket from Military First, at a cost of about 82 pounds delivered, I think it was. It's made out of a poly cotton blend that they call Dura Canvas. It's really hard wearing. So I've been wearing this, like I said, for about six months and I've battered and bruised it. It's been next to fires. It's been through the woods. It's been through all kinds of thorn bushes and it's holding up really well. Now, what you will notice on mine is it's a darker color than usual. Now, if I turn around, you'll see what the actual color is like. And this jacket has now got a lovely patina in it. I waxed it with some Fjallraven Greenland wax, about five pound to do. Was a bit of a nightmare. I'll put some photos on that I put on my Instagram to show you what that kind of process looked like. But it's darkened the material, it's made it a lot more heavier and a lot more durable as well and gives it that extra bit of weather protection. Now the process to wax the jacket takes some time. It probably took me, I wanna say two to three hours in total. And to be honest, was a bit of a nightmare but I think it's totally worth it the patina that it gives to the jacket and the extra rugged resistance and weatherproofing that it gives probably a sound investment and I won't have to do that again for some time I don't think I haven't yet had it in a major downpour so I can't really comment on how waterproof it has made the jacket on Helicon's website they do say that it comes with a sort of waterproof coating um, I haven't really tested that to the max. But anyway, if it was to hammer it down, I think the stretchy vent panel, stretchy vent panel at the back would leak water in. Now, most of the time you'll have a rucksack on covering that, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it's not gonna replace a real outer shell water jacket. Now, the model that I'm wearing is the Woodsman, then, and Helicon actually do another model called the Pilgrim. If you like the weathered sort of patina look and you want to wax that whole jacket then I probably would advise not going for the Woodsman and maybe stepping up to the Pilgrim model. That has a non-stretchy back so you won't have that sort of two-tone colour. I'm okay with that because a lot of the time I've got a backpack on and it allows my back to breathe so although it is a bit mis mismatched in colour I'm okay with that. The jacket is pretty lightweight. I wouldn't say it's the warmest of jackets, so if you're looking for something to keep you warm whilst you're out in the woods, this probably isn't the option. I use this as a, an outer shell, really. So underneath, I'll usually either have a jumper, a t-shirt, and possibly, I don't know, a, a jacket. This is the outer shell. Its wind protection isn't that great either. <laughs> I can feel the wind coming through the back, but now that I've waxed the front of it, I can't feel it coming through the arms, which I've previously had. The jacket has got a full size hood, which is fully adjustable with back tassels and it has a peaked visor just to keep the weather out. It's got YKK zips throughout and has arm vent pits that go all the way down to the bottom. The jacket comes in multiple colors on the website. This one is khaki. I believe it also comes in a green color, a black, a red, and then I kind of mix and match. You've got green and black and red and black, I think. Probably should have checked. I'll flash it up on the screen for you so you can see. Personal preference would have been for the green, actually, not this colour. But in my usual style, too impatient, couldn't wait. This one came back into stock first, so I grabbed it while I could. So I'm wearing a medium and I've got a couple of layers underneath and there's still room to spare. And I'm currently about 13 stone you know, 41 inch-ish chest, I'm five foot eight, just in case you wondered how big I was. It fits nice, the sleeves come down as a decent, decent length, and they are fully adjustable with Velcro straps. So you can really close them up in bad weather. It has a big kangaroo pouch with a double zip. And inside there, we have a key hook a hole to put the headphones through and multiple little pockets inside which is really good each side vents down so you can fully ventilate the armpits and comes right down to the bottom and 
held together by a clasp, a little popper. This is how I tend to get the jacket off. Undo both poppers, pull the front, and then lift off. You can see that's fully vented. So all in all, this is a great jacket and I would highly recommend it to anybody that spends time in the woods or is traipsing through some you know, harsh environments where you need a jacket to be able to stand up to that. There's plenty of room underneath for extra layers to keep you warm. I wouldn't be using this jacket solely for the warmth value. It breathes really well with a side vent and you know, it stood up to sparks from a fire and the general abuse that I put it through when I'm out here practicing bushcraft in the woods. I have seen lately that Military First have got new stock back in, so if you want the green version, please, Jonathan, I'm looking at you, I know you've got one on order, <laughs> then you can go to that website, it's totally not affiliated, I'll put a link below, it's just, if you want one and you're interested in it, then uh, go and have a look at that. I'll also link the Pilgrim model, just in case you want to see that. I think One Life Overland, excuse me if I got that wrong, <laughs> But his, he wears one of the pilgrims, so I'll link his channel below as well and you can go and have a look at some of his videos and you'll be able to see what that jacket looks like on. So I hope that was of some use and that you, like me, love the Helicon Tex Woodsman Anorak. And you know, if you go out and buy one off the back of this, then I hope it does you well. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, perhaps the G1000 Fjordraven trousers that I wear, um, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you've got one of these and if you love it. And I'll see you again on the next one. Peace out.